Sudden cardiac arrest is a leading cause of death in Australia. As vice regal patron of the Michael Hughes Foundation and a long-time advocate of public access to defibrillators, particularly in the Defence Force and across New South Wales, I'm proud to introduce you to an organisation devoted to improving the survival rates from Southern cardiac arrest. Choosing to give the next few minutes of your attention to this short video may well save a life. It could well be the life of someone close to you or someone you love. I should be dead. In fact, I was. I suffered a cardiac arrest. My daughter found me. Emergency, what town or suburb? Ambulance. Tell me exactly what's happened. Oh my God, Listen, what's your name? Yeah, Are you with him now? Yes. How old is he? Sorry? How old is he? 62. Okay, is he awake? Deborah, is he awake? Is he breathing? Okay, the ambulance is organised. Is there a defibrillator available? No! Okay. Alright, so are you right by him now? Yes. Neville was one of our lucky statistics. Every year in Australia, over 30,000 of us suffer sudden cardiac arrest. Survival rates are less than 10%. We know we can change that in every community with three vital things. One is CPR education. Everyone should know how to save a life. Second is more accessible automated external defibrillators everywhere. And thirdly, the will to step in and take action when it's needed most. At the Michael Hughes Foundation, our mission is to turn bystanders into first responders to raise awareness in the community so everyone knows the difference between a cardiac arrest and a heart attack. To promote the placement of publicly accessible defibrillators in shops, community spaces, businesses and sporting facilities, and to provide training in CPR and the use of defibrillators. There are two key frameworks that drive what we do. The cardiac chain of survival as it applies to bystanders like you and me. We need to recognise sudden cardiac arrest and what it looks like and what it does. Next, we need to respond, calling triple zero and ensuring emergency services have the right information for a timely dispatch. Early CPR in the first three minutes is critical. So is early defibrillation, returning the heart to normal rhythm quickly. With these actions, supported by the ambulance and admission to hospital, uncertain bystanders become life-saving first responders and can increase survivability from less than 10% to more than 60%. We can further increase survival rates by creating communities that are heart safe. A heart safe community has developed a community action plan that embraces the cardiac chain of survival with an emphasis on providing training and activating community members. A heart safe community strategically places defibrillators in public locations and has a monitoring and maintenance plan to ensure they're in working order when they're needed. A heart safe community can be as small as an individual workplace or as large as an entire region. It's not the size or scale, but the active responsibility that the community takes to provide a coordinated response to sudden cardiac arrest events. That coordination requires a lot of talking, a lot of listening, a lot of collaboration between everyone. The Michael Hughes Foundation embraces this collaboration with strong established relationships bridging local, state and federal governments, as well as their health and community wellbeing departments. Team this with local community groups, emergency medical services and healthcare facilities, and business and elected representatives. There's simply no reason to accept a cardiac arrest survival rate of less than 10%. My daughter did CPR on her own for 10 minutes before emergency services arrived. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be having this conversation with you. Isn't it time you had a life-changing chat with your family, friends and colleagues? Can you imagine your life without them? I urge you to support the work of the Michael Hughes Foundation. Learn CPR, find out where your nearest defibrillator is, and don't be a bystander, be a responder.